often this question arises: should I follow my mind or should I follow my heart? Which comes as a priority in my life? <clears throat> and how to listen to the heart? Because mind always guides us too. We are well trained through education to follow the mind. We analyze things. We are all, or most of you are financial analysts, analyzing. So life situations also can be analyzed. How does one become wiser? Or when does the wisdom dawn on us? It is not an overnight process. It's a journey, a journey of continuous improvement. Let me explain. Whenever there is a transformation, from your old state of mind to the new state of mind. You want to improve yourself. That means you have to let go of your old state of habits. And the problem starts there. Transformation or transforming oneself from the old habits to the new, from weakness to strength, though it is beneficial to all of us, we somehow resist. We don't want to get out of that comfort zone. <laughs> so we have to have very strong intentions and choices. Choices because <clears throat> at every juncture in life, whenever we are, we are at the crossroad, and our conscious mind says, asks, and we often get confused with the this is right or this is wrong. Should I pursue this or should I pursue that? Or the third option, keep quiet, pause and do nothing. Right? So there are only three situations. And there we get confused because I like this, I don't like that. Right? And then we ask others also in the process and they also add a lot of confusion to it. Top it all, we get distracted by our petty desires, sometimes a lot of ego involved with that, making decisions. Whenever you have to make a decision, for example, talking with your spouse and say, let's plan our tour, we are going for a vacation. You like to go somewhere, he or she likes to go somewhere and there is an ego tussle also. Who's, who is going to win? And you say, oh, I have a prejudice against this place. So all this, I think they play out and create havoc. So we, what we are trying to understand is the understanding of the situation first. Second thing, allow your desires and ego to subdue a bit and forget your prejudices, for at least temporarily. That will demand something from us to go within ourselves, study the situation, understand the situation, and let your ego or arrogance take a back seat. <clears throat> Often this question arises: should I follow my mind or should I follow my heart? Which comes as a priority in my life? <clears throat> And how to listen to the heart, because mind always guides us too. We are well trained through education to follow the mind. We analyze things. We are all, or most of you are financial analysts, analyzing. So life situations also can be analyzed. And then see how one can make a right decision. Reflect on the decisions that we have made, where we have gone wrong and hurt ourselves and our own company because of the wrong decisions. Now, <clears throat> study behind now that how and why did you make those decisions? What was your mind saying at that time and what was your heart saying at that time? And I would say 99.99% .99 of the time you will know that your heart had always warned you, don't do this, always. 
But whenever you have been successful in your decisions, have you thought that you were guided by the heart? Heart never speaks loudly do this. Heart always speaks loudly when you are going wrong. Always. And whenever you are about to do the wrong thing, I say about to do the wrong thing, heart again speaks louder and tries to prevent us from doing the wrong thing. For example, if I ask Prasad Garu, what is your name? And he ends up telling me his name is Sudhakar. His heartbeat will miss a few bits at that time. Oh, why did I say I am Sudhakar? Or <clears throat> when you think of a teenager period of your life and you are coming home and your mommy asks, Bete, where were you? You are at one o'clock in the morning and you end up nicely saying, Oh, mommy, we were studying. We were doing homework with my friends, but actually you were somewhere else. Listen to your heart. What happened to your heart when you were lying to your mother? It becomes heavier. You have some sort of remorse also at that time. But when you speak the truth, heart doesn't give any signal. Whenever you have to do the right thing, heart doesn't give any signal. Whenever we have some natural things happening on its own, Heart never gives any signal. Heart always speaks loudly whenever something is going wrong. Let me <coughs> reiterate the whole situation to a different example. When you are seeing things, when you are listening things, and when they are in proper order, we don't congratulate our eyes and say, congratulations, you are you know, seeing well or you are hearing well. We never congratulate our ears and eyes. We don't need to. It's happening as it should happen. But the day you have some blurry vision or you are missing some words your spouse is having with you, then you better start worrying. And the heart always gives the signal, something is wrong, time to visit a professional. You need help. So anytime anything is going unnatural, heart always speaks. <clears throat> so to be wiser to me is to pick up these signals. The signals of what is right, what is wrong.